we're going to be discussing the bevel modifier and why it's almost exclusively sensible to use two bevel modifiers on any given hard surface object. So I've got my first bevel set here and I'm just going to up the amount on that to chamfer the edges of my object. And then to that I'm going to add another bevel modifier. And what this is going to do for me is allow me to get a sort of rig whereby I can shift click these and I can control very precisely just shading it smooth there so you can see it a bit better but I can control very precisely the corners of my object and even if if I want I can um, reverse my second bevel to make some edge detailing or sort of pseudo edge detailing um, and I can basically use this to allow me to get any beveled edge shape that I want just by playing with these two things here it can go from quite a stylized look back to just a simple knocking the corners off for the renderer to work properly. So that's what I suggest everybody else should be doing too.